What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video, your girl is here to bring you another three looks, one palette. Today I'm gonna be using my Flamingo Beach palette um, and I'm very, very excited. I have been getting some use out of this baby prior to doing these three looks and now I'm ready to give you guys my opinions but I also wanted to give you some looks with it. So I'm really, really excited. I used today specifically with this eye look, I really stuck with these pinks and then I popped some of these warmer shimmers on my lid, but I will be doing some more funky looks. I am excited. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, which is look number one, and how I got the next two looks, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so I'm here to do look number one for this three looks one palette. And as you can see, I have already done the first eye over here and we're just gonna do the second eye together. So first I went ahead and primed with my Nomad Cosmetics um, primer. And just to let you guys know, I am kind of doing my brows a little bit differently. I'm using a lot less product and just making them, in my opinion, look a little bit more fluffy. They're not completely like the soap brow, but I'm like doing the soap brow in my own way with my with my wet and wild eye kit because I do have that wax up there so I am using the wax kind of like people use soap um, just to really get my brows to really sit and then I barely add any product just so that the product doesn't really over exemplify the two brow hairs that I have. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is we are going to go into Happenese right here. It's one of the bright pinks and I'm using, so I think the way I'm gonna do this Three Looks One palette is that I'm going to try and use color schemes with this palette that remind me of new makeup releases that I'm interested in. And so for this one, because there are so many pinks, this reminds me of the Juvia's Place Sweet Pinks palette. And I'm really just trying to talk myself out of buying it. I know it's good quality, but just because it's good quality and just because I think the palette is pretty does not mean I mean does not mean I need to pick it up. Um, I'm trying to really save for some pretty big ticket items and um, yeah that needs to come first and I'm coming to that realization now. I have been saving but like I need to save more. <laughs> Okay, so I'm kind of doing like a more circular eye um, shape today. I generally don't do this circular of an eye, but we're going to go with it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and go into Aruba, which is another bright pink. Um, in pan, this is a lot deeper than happiness um, and a lot more orangey toned. And hopefully you guys can see the difference now that it's being applied. Okay, now I'm just gonna clean off this brush in my color switch because I'm gonna use the exact same brush. And then we're gonna go into Kisses, which is like a light mauve or a deep mauve kind of. It's, it's a mauve, but in the pink family. It leans more pink, but you definitely can see that purple to it. And I'm gonna use this to really kind of build and create my, um, halo effect so I'm going to put some on the outside I'm also going to put some in this inner corner as well well inner lid not inner corner 
And I'm just going to take my time and just blend across the top as well. Okay, so all the mattes are done. And now we're just gonna go into my lid shade, which is going to be Promise, which is right here. It's a really, really pretty orangey gold situation. And we're just gonna pat her down the center of my lid. And then I'm just going to work on my blend <clears throat> and just work on all of that jazz. Have this come together a little bit more. It tends to take me a little while when it comes to halos. Eyes, halo eyes are not my um, go-to and I'm just not the best at them. <clears throat> but I find that if you just take your time and you just go back and forth between all your brushes and stuff, you will eventually get your desired look. And then also I find that it's a little bit hard to make it so that both of my eyes look the same, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Okay, I think that's more or less good enough. So what I'm gonna do is just hop off camera. All I have to do is do my liner and mascara. For liner, I'm gonna use my ColourPop Gel Liner in Puppy, and then also my, wherever it went, my um, Patrick Star Black Liner and then Mascara. I've been using my Benefit Their Real Mascara. So I'm gonna put all three of these on really quickly and I'll zoom out and I'll tell you more what's on my face and we'll get into the next look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. And I'm really liking the look overall. I feel like it's been quite a while since I have done pinks and I feel like I've never really combined pinks, mauves, and then an orange on top. I will say I kind of left early when I was doing the tutorial. So if you're wondering how I did my lower lash line, what I did is I took kisses and I put that directly under my lower lash line. And then I blended it out with a combination of Aruba and Happy Knees. Um, in my inner corner i used golden hour so yeah i will be like i said doing at least two more looks i'm really excited and um yeah i hope this look was nice i hope you guys enjoyed it if you're wondering what's on my lips i did a combination between max chestnut and lime crimes Paulette. Uh, so I did kind of like an ombre look, which ombre lip, which I blended out. And then on my cheeks, I have a limited edition blush. I'm sorry. Um, but it is Boys Don't Cry by NARS. It's a really nice, like orange, um, orangey red with, um, there was gold glitter. So it made it kind of a satin finish. I really do enjoy this blush a lot. If you're wondering highlighter wise, I used different ones today so i used a looksy highlighter and this is in the shade valley girl it's one of my favorite highlighters from looksy i absolutely love that highlighter that was the base of my highlighter today and then on top i threw regal um i'm really enjoying getting use out of this um dream highlighter palette and I'm just going to continue to get use out of it while I can. Everything else is pretty much the norm so I'm not going to even really go through it. Um, if you're wondering what's going on with my jewelry, I'll try and find it. A lot of this stuff I find randomly online or through Etsy shops. I got this ear these earrings I believe from an Etsy shop 
these um, necklaces. I don't even know. I will try my best. I know I got this when I was in Australia, so it'll be a wee bit hard, but I know I can find her Instagram somewhere. Regardless, if you're wondering, look down below. I will try my best. If I don't do it at all, just comment and that'll help remind me and I will do my best to give you guys the information. But overall, this is the finished look. I really am enjoying it. And if you're interested in looking for looks number two and three, Let's just keep going. As you can see, I've already done one eye off camera. I'm really happy how this came out. So I wanna just go ahead and do the other eye with you guys on camera for my second look. I'm priming with my Nomad Cosmetics eyeshadow primer. I don't think that this is actually like available. I've tried to find it on their website and I didn't find it. So maybe this was like a limited edition thing. Or maybe they just sent it to me. I don't really know. All I know is that I actually enjoy this primer. And since I have it, I am going to get my use out of it. Okay, so... Let's get into the palette. So the first shadow that I went into today is Sunray, which is this really bright orangey lime shade. And this is going to be my transition shade for this whole look. And it's also gonna help me to build the structure of this look. As you can see, I'm really digging this like um, curved circular eyeshadow look. So that's what I'm going to do again today and for shades like this I feel like it's normal to take some time to really build up the opacity 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 that I prefer um because I like you know very out there very obvious um eyeshadow so I am just going to take my time and now that I've laid down a good kind of base, if you will, I'm just going to take the outside and just blend it out. Just take my time. And if I feel like I went too high, I do have shades and other palettes that I can use to just, you know, kind of erase it and help blend it out a little bit more into my skin tone. But I don't mind that it's up this high because I promise you it will be, <clears throat> it should come out looking more like the other eye towards the end. Make sure my volume's off on my phone. It is. Okay, good. Um, so how are you guys today? I'm doing good. It's really cold here right now. Like pretty super cold. I did a run this morning and whoo child, it was a mess, an actual mess. I'm so glad I prepared and went out there with a long sleeve shirt. Otherwise, I would have had to turn around. It was cold, but I tend to run the best in the cold, so I really enjoyed my run today, and it was actually one of my best times, so I'm really happy about that. Have you guys watched Mulan, the live action? How do y'all feel? Because I have some opinions, but let's get into the next color and maybe we can talk about it so the next color i'm going to use today is cruise which is this really deep navy blue so i'm just going to use that and what i'm going to do is just really create the depth of this whole look really and we're just going to i like to start with the outside edge and just pack her on and then slowly blend inside slowly but surely and even if I'm a little sloppy with my application it should be fine because I need to blend this in between and in the blending the sloppiness generally goes away but yeah Mulan the act live action y'all so the first time I watched it um I hated it I did I hated it so so much because like yeah, I get it. It's not supposed to be kind of as funny as the an animated version is. I get that completely. But like the whole essence of the characters just was not the same. Like the three idiots that Mulan befriends in the um in the cartoon, they like Mo Mo 
wow this is my favorite movie and I don't forgot their names but either way you know who I'm talking about like they just the essence was not there even Mulan low-key like I just didn't feel like even her personality was really well represented in the live action so I was pissed off I like ended up watching some more movies because I ended up watching it with my parents for the first time um so we ended up watching some more movies after that and you know it was what it was but yeah I was not a huge fan after that first showing and then me and my dad ended up watching it a second time and I guess at the sec after the second time I found you know the way to like I guess be okay with it but like at the end of the day it is definitely not going to be a favorite at all it's just one of those movies I feel like at this point where it's like because it's centered around Milan I'll I guess I'll enjoy it but it just was not as enjoyable and then even then like are they going to do a second live action where they actually have her and Shang get married and then they changed Mulan's surname? I'm like, y'all just, just changing up a storm. You got rid of Mushu and then you added this animated um, phoenix. I'm like, if you could add an animated phoenix, you can add, it a, you can add an animated Mushu. I just, there were certain things that I was just not about as you can see anyways we gonna keep pushing and if you didn't know I was just going back and forth between a couple of different brushes one of the brushes was the one that I put the yellow down with the other one was the blue brush and then the last one the really big fluffy one was just a clean blending brush that I like to do just to go over all of my shades and I think I like that blend now so we are going to keep moving and the last matte that I am going to use today is going to be blackout and this is quite literally a black so I'm just going to use this just to deepen out my whole crease even more and I'm really going to keep this low really honestly if you didn't know I used blackout you won't know that I used it in the look because I didn't really put too much although I feel like I put way too much on this brush this time um, but I didn't use too, too much, you know, so, yeah. But yeah, I was not all that satisfied with Mulan the live action, and I've seen a lot of other people are on that same tip as me. Meanwhile, my parents are like, oh, it was good, it was good. I'm like, you, you fools, you don't know what you know. Okay, but yeah. Okay, while we're here, I'm just gonna go ahead and do finish my lower lash line. So up against my lash line, I'm gonna take that black. And because this is so pigmented, I'm gonna do my best to keep it really close to the lower lash line. Also, are you guys excited for Halloween and like for October in general? I am stupid excited. I'm planning things. Hopefully they come to fruition. Who knows? But I'm just, I'm overall just stupid excited. I love Halloween. And honestly, this is the time where I spend the most money throughout the year because I buy Halloween themed things all year, every year. Um, and this is just the time where more brands, more businesses are actually releasing more Halloween stuff. So this is like, this is my time to shine. Um, and I got quite a cart on a couple of different places. We'll see if I purchase them or not. But I'm, I'm just tickled pink, guys. I am tickled pink right now. Okay. I think... That looks halfway decent. Just gonna use that cleaner brush. 
Okay, so now it is time to do my lid shades. And for my lid, I did something a little different for me. I don't generally kind of do this. It's not too far off, but I just generally don't do this. First, I took Coastal, which is like this like purpley blue. It's like a blurple, that. It's a blurple metallic. And I took that. And what I did is I kind of went over the area where the black was and just tapped it up to the crease where the black was, right? So we just kind of covering up the black a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is take my black brush and just blend out that navy blur pool situation. Cause I didn't want this to be like an overly cut crease type situation. Then I took a little bit more of the product and I brought it in just a little bit more. Okay. And then we're gonna flip it over to the other side and we are gonna go into the shade Emerald, which is this beauty right here. So, oh, am I not in focus? Oh, I'm in focus during certain parts, whatever. And then we're gonna take Emerald and Emerald's gonna be my inner lid shade. Okay, so you see how that looks. And now what I'm just gonna do is just blend back and forth. And I'm gonna do my best to make my blend very symmetrical to over here. And I actually think I got it. Wow, <laughs> that almost never happens. Okay, and then we are going to go into a shade I was itching to reach for today which is island it's this beautiful beautiful like glittery white but it really has a very strong um green undertone and you will see that as soon as it goes on to my eye you see how that stupid stupid green i wasn't expecting that i thought i was gonna have a blue undertone so i was definitely surprised but it definitely works out regardless and then just blend it on your lid a little bit and under your arm. And that's the finished look. It really is. I really enjoy this look. Pretty simple, but straight to the point. What I'm going to do is hop off camera, put on my liners. I have my yellow from Linda Hallberg. I have my black from Patrick Starr. And I have my mascara. I will put all these on. I need to figure out what I'm going to put on my lips. And then I will zoom out so you guys can see the finished look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. So yeah, this is the finished second look. I really had a lot of fun creating this look today. Um, if you're wondering kind of what the rest of stuff on my face, I pretty much did everything like normal. I have the last two days, I forgot yesterday to tell you guys that I also used my Danessa Myricks bronzer, cream bronzer. This is in my project pan, so I've been working on getting some use out of that. Um, today is blush. I tried to use a very neutral blush, so I went with my ColourPop Tulip to quit blush and this is super super neutral and low-key sometimes doesn't even look like I put any blush on which is perfect for the look because I knew my eyes and my lips would draw a lot of attention so I didn't want to do too much and then for highlighter I ended up using my two blush or highlighter palettes that I've been reaching for lately which is my 24 hour champagne diet from my beauty bakery blush lighter palette and then from my ADH dream palette I went into magic so overall really really fun look i think i had a lot of fun um and i'm really just enjoying this palette overall i could do an obscene amount more looks but i think i'm gonna stop it with the look that i'm gonna be doing tomorrow just so i can get this baby up for you guys because i did promise you guys to do a three looks one palette a while ago and i just never got to it i don't know what i'm gonna do tomorrow um who knows we'll see what happens um but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this look let's get to look number three hey guys and we are here for look number three um and we're just gonna get right into it okay so i am primed and ready to go this is just my playing in makeup by yolando eyeshadow primer in e so i'm just gonna take 
a nice fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Beach Babe, which is a cool toned pinky shade. I think my lights are too bright today. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, so just a nice even base of that pinky cool tone shade. And then what I did is I went into a smaller brush and then I went into Boardwalk, which is this beautiful cool toned, mid toned blue. And I'm going to focus the majority of the color on the outer edge of my eyelid. And we're gonna slowly but surely build that shade into my crease to define my crease. Now I did intend to not put nearly as much of this color in the inner eye, but it just kind of happened. So we're just gonna recreate it. It is fun. I still like the color and the combination. I still like the color and the combination. So we're just gonna go with it. And I am gonna just slowly build my outer edge. I'm gonna go back to kind of my normal <clears throat> shape which is kind of a more angular shape lately i've been doing more circular shapes so yeah this is pretty much what i like to do and as always if you don't like your blend between the two shades just go back into the wider brush that's kind of what i do and just blend in circular motions and that generally works if not just grab some more of that first product or first shade i'm sorry and then just blend on top that's also another way to get the color that you want last crease color that i'm going to be using is cruise <clears throat> and it's this dark navy blue right dark navy blue right here and i am just going to use this to go ahead and deepen out my whole crease area. I just like a very dramatic deepened out crease. I could have also deepened this out even more with that black and I had a moment where I was truly thinking of doing it but I didn't end up doing it. But it's okay. I still enjoyed this look regardless. And where I kind of didn't do what I wanted to do is I went too far in with too much color. So it just made this a little bit more dramatic, not dramatic, but it just made it more impactful, this inner, than I wanted it to in the grand scheme of things. But it's okay. Just like I did before, we're just going to blend her out. And everything's going to be all right. All right, so we're looking good, very, very good. Now for the lid, I'm using one of my biggest lid shading brushes. I almost never use this brush, but because of what I'm doing with the matte, I felt like this was the best brush. And I'm going straight into the white, which is white sands. Other people might use this to set their lid. I used to set my lid, and now I just prefer not to. I think it's very much a personal preference and very much just a preference on sometimes the formula of the eyeshadow that you're using and just your technique and your skill type. I think all of those things really come into play to determine whether you're going to set your lid or not. I will say that this has an extreme amount of kick up and I also have quite a bit of fallout just from this shade. But 
it's all good. It wiped away very, very easily. So we're just gonna continue just to pack her on. And I will say one thing about white shades, at least on the way that I apply, I do find that somewhere through the look and even throughout the day, the white shade seems to fade away. That probably wouldn't happen if I were to cut my lid before I put my white shade on, but honestly, I just don't have the time nor the care in the world to do that. So let's continue on with our lower lash line. And to do that, I'm just gonna take the shade Cruise once again on that same small pointed Sigma brush. We're just gonna drag her all the way across. And then to blend her out, we're gonna go back into Beach Bay, which is that first shade, wait, no. <laughs> it's the pink Beach Bay, which is the first shade that we used um, in this look, so. And I always just use the same brush. I know that it may cause the shade to go down too far, blah de blah de blah I don't really care. For me, makeup is fun, and even if I make mistakes, even if I look like an actual clown, which half the time I do, I don't care, because I'm just having fun. So, yeah. All right, my outer, my outer edge on that side got a little jank. It was real nice and defined, and sis went goodbye bye. So we gon' we gonna define her out again. Okay, okay. So, in our corner highlight, I ended up using the shade Blinding, which is a yellow um, metallic in this palette. Yellow gold, kind of. I wouldn't say it's a true, true yellow metallic. I feel like it's hard for brands to really do a true yellow metallic, at least to my satisfaction. I find that there are a lot of them have a strong goldy undertone, and I have some fallout again. Okay, so this is pretty much the finished look. All I'm going to do is do my waterline and mascara. And my waterline today, I'm using my favorite liner, which is from Koki, and it is in the shade Ocean Feel. Um, it's their eyeliner. I'm also going to use my Patrick Star on the top, and then I'm going to use my Benefit mascara, and then I will come back to you guys full face, finish, and let you guys know what all is going on with my face. Alrighty, guys, so this is the finished look. And yeah, this is the third and I think final look. I could definitely do an obscene amount of more looks. I've done a couple of looks that have been on my Instagram, so I will have those. No, we'll keep her here. So I've done a couple of looks that have been on my Instagram, so I will have those linked down below for you guys. I really do enjoy this palette. I think that this palette overall is very um, similar formula-wise to my very first Lick and Lash palette, which is the Playful palette. There is just a difference when it comes to the color scheme. It's not an extreme difference, and I will say that, like, honestly, between the two palettes, I don't need another matte rainbow palette. It's just not a necessary a necessity for me. I will say I really appreciate the balance that this provides more so with the shimmers and mattes whereas the first palette from Look & Lash that I got playful that one does not have a very good balance when it comes to shimmers and mattes. Overall I have not found a dud at all. I will say this blackout shade has sparkle glitter in it when you're looking at it you can see it but applying it I never saw it at all so what's the point? I will say it is a pretty good black. It's not my favorite black. It's definitely not as rich and pigmented as my black from my Juvia's Place Saharan palette, but it is a very, very good black. This white as well is pretty good. I will say for a white to actually apply that well within just packing a couple of times, that's pretty rare for me personally. I think um, and yeah, I pretty much tried all of the shades. I think out of all the shades, I haven't tried Odyssey, Caribbean Sea, Marine, and maybe Wishlist. Everything else I have tried, um, and this is through various different looks, both before doing these three looks and then during and even after. So 
I really have enjoyed this palette. If you're wondering, this shade right here, Island, is more of a glittery kind of topper. I was able to get it to really adhere pretty nicely, but if you're trying to apply it on your lid, I would say that it's not going to be as opaque as you may think it you want it to be. The other shades are definitely more opaque and there's definitely a difference between the mattes, the shimmers, the metallics, and then that one like toppery shade. There's definitely a nice variety of textures which I truly enjoy and I think the shade range is just really nice as well. You really get some nice transition shades, some really nice light shades, and then you also get some nice deep darkening shades. But that's the type of stuff that I like. Even with this look, I really was able to deepen up my look with a variety of shades and I also was able to mix it up a little bit and that's what I like. If you're wondering what's on my lips it is the MAC Lip Intensity and Toast and Butter. This is no longer available. I'm sorry I don't know why. I don't know why they took this range off their website. This is one of my favorite ranges that they have ever released but it's no longer on their website and I'm sorry but I feel like it's not a three looks one palette for me if toast and butter does not appear at least once on my lips. Um, I will try and remember to link down below my nail, my, my nail polish. I always do my nail polish. I met my earrings because I've done pretty good at actually remembering to put earrings in um, this video. And I also will try, if you guys are interested, to link down below my um, necklaces as well. But really what I wanted to do now is show you guys the similarities and differences between the two Lick and Lash palettes that I have. So on this side is... On this side is my Lick and Lash Playful palette, and on this side is my Lick and Lash Flamingo palette. As you can see, both of them have um, pinks and purples in them, and some blues, and that's pretty much the commonality, if you will. I'm going to just set them on my table, and we're going to try and find some similarities, if there are any in these palettes and I'm gonna swatch them for you guys so you guys can see. Um, if you're wondering personally like which palette would I recommend, I would just say personally it depends on what you like. So if you like more of a nice combination between shimmers and mattes and you need a combination between colorful shimmers and mattes, then I would say go for the flamingo. But if you really just like to have a really nice deep built up crease, then I would say the Playful palette. I will say that like the Playful palette, like I said, has a couple of shades that I'm just like, why are you here? Why are you here? But overall, I've just gotten a lot of use out of this palette in general, and I just really love the formula out of 90% of the shadows. So that, I'm gonna stop talking, and let's see if we can find any shades that are similar. So these are three shades. I know, I'm sorry, my camera's not focusing. So this shade right here is from the Flamingo palette and is in the shade Cell. And then these two are from the um, Playful palette. This one is uh, Peached and this one is Tangus Tangtastic. So let's just go ahead and swatch these for you guys. I would say none of them really are similar. I can't tell if you guys can see. I, I just literally can't see that far. I scooted back. Um, but the three shades are clearly different. So that's a good thing. Um, then let's go for like these pinky mauve shades. There's this shade Kisses and the shade Frenchy. So they're not even really simple. This one is Kisses and this one is Frenchy. Frenchy is from the Playful palette. Kisses is from the Flamingo palette. Yeah, there's a drastic difference. I mean, drastic. You can't even... <clears throat> Light and day. Honestly, I don't see any shades that are similar, which is very, very nice. I would love i love to do a palette bingo with these two shades or these two palettes because i feel like i have the rainbow i have such a wide variety of shades between these two palettes that i just i think i'm do, gonna do a palette bingo i might not get to it this month but look forward to that um if you're wondering 
process, I need a review. What do you say about this palette? I say that this is a very similar, if not exact, formulas from the original palette that I have from them, which is the Playful palette. The mattes are all work beautifully, whereas I do have a couple of problems with some of the mattes in this palette. I enjoy all of the shimmer formulas because they have both shimmers, metallics, and then like I said, this one flaky formula. I feel like all of the formulas in this palette work beautifully. The one downside for me is that this shade came broken in transit. That's it. Everything else, I love all of the shades. I really think that this promise shade, this like warm orangey goldy shade is just fantastic and it honestly it was just a surprise i don't think i actually used that before i did my look in this tutorial and it was just beautiful i can't wait to do more looks with this palette and just with these both of these palettes in general and i think this palette is going to find its way in my like automatic use which is in my desk area so that's all i got for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video all three of the looks i would love to hear what your favorite looks are down below if you guys have favorite earrings that i wore if you guys have favorite nail polish i would love to know this is also another favorite new shirt in case you're wondering, I got this also from Target. Loving my two purchases from Target lately. And you know, that's always good because otherwise I'd feel like I wasted my money. I should be having a couple more Three Looks One palettes coming to you guys very, very soon. I'm just waiting for the palettes to come in and then I can justify them when they come when I do my videos. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.